Hey guys, so I promised you a study with me video, so I'm kind of just going to film like various clips throughout this week until the weekend where I like start drawing out and stuff for my test on Monday and I'll show you how I study then too. But um, I haven't gone around to filming this video, I didn't film it for my last test, so I kind of wanted to start filming for this test ahead of time so I don't forget. Um, but anyway, I am, um, this is me bright and early in the morning, <laughs> ready to study. <laughs> um, yeah, I haven't, we don't have class until 1 today, so that's really nice. I have all morning to kind of catch up. This weekend I went to a rock festival called Aftershock in Sacramento, so it was awesome. There was a lot of really cool bands, and Corey loves to listen to rock music, so it's his thing. And since I've been dating him, um, he's kind of gotten me into it, and I've just been listening to like different types of music and stuff. And I still don't really like the screamo stuff like at all, but I do like like just the regular like rock bands. And there was a quite a cool like quite a few cool rock bands that I really enjoyed listening to when we were there. So I had a really fun time. Um, I posted up some pictures on Instagram. <laughs> it was fun because I got to wear like dark lipstick, which I never do. Paint my nails black, which I don't do, and like chokers and stuff. So I went all out, guys. But yeah, so now I have to catch up though because I did take a weekend off, which this is the first time I've done that, so we'll see how it is when I do that. Um, maybe I'll never do it again, or maybe I'll just try to do one day instead of two, but so far I think I'll be okay. We'll see. This is my typical setup. I kind of have a messy desk, but um, usually I don't have that pile over there. That's new. So right here, this is my step one book. Um, I've started to like casually look over it. They told us to like look over it as we're learning the material because our tests are based off of board questions. So this has been actually really helpful. And for each chapter, I just open it up. Um, right now we're doing like heme onks. So we're doing blood and cancer. And we're currently in blood right now. So this is all new for me. Um, we finished our medical sciences block uh, two, about a week ago now, so we had six weeks of that and now we're going to have two weeks of hemonk before our next test on Monday. So we just open up to the chapter like when we were doing biochemistry I'd open up to this and like read over and see if there's... So this has actually been really helpful to just make sure that I'm getting all the material that I need to know out of the book and out of the information we get in class from our PowerPoints. This is uh, actually my problem-based learning, so once a week we have like these different types of cases and we discuss them for three hours in class and just figure out what's wrong and look um, at the biochemical processes and just like the reactions that are taking place and this is supposed to correlate with what we're learning, so right now we're doing hemonk and that's what our problem-based learning is on. It's really cool. I love this class. It's super fun. These are the iPads that they gave us, which has now become my best friend, actually. Um, and on here, this is kind of how I study. So, I have something called OneNote, which before med school didn't even know what it was, but now I love it. I use it all the time. And then I have my book open. So we actually have online books and we have um, regular books. There's my book pile right there. Yeah, beautiful, right? Um, <laughs> there's a lot of books in there. <laughs> I'll show them to you one day. But anyway, we have regular books and then we have the books online, which makes my life way easier. I've actually only been using online, which is something I've never done before. But this is my online book right here. And this one is called um, Transfusion Medicine. So we're learning about that. And this is what the chapter is about, like what happens if transfusion goes wrong. And then what I start doing is while I'm reading, I take notes. And this is something I like to do. Um, some people don't find this helpful or don't even read at all. They just listen to the PowerPoints or what our teachers tell us in class. I love reading and I pre-read because when I go to class, I feel like I understand what the teacher is telling us and I feel more prepared for the material to come. So I'm pre-reading right now for today and I'm trying to finish before one, which I think I might be able to do. But what happens is once a week we get this list sent out to us. So this is a punch list is what they call it. And this is what we have to read for this week. And he gives us like notes. He says, don't go into the details, but I always do. And <laughs> uh, I can't help it. I'm just used to it, I think, because I was biochem major and that's all we did. And then we have like specific readings for Monday. So I finished this. We had five readings for yesterday. And then today we have a ton. I'm only on 58, so I have a lot more left. But at least these are really short readings. Like they're each like five or less pages which is something I'm not used to. Usually we have like 20 pages to read, so kind of nice. 
And then um, this is a this is one of the hardest books in the world that I've had to read so far. Um, we've read quite a few chapters from it, but it's called Robbins and Cothran Pathological Basis of Disease. So it's pathology, and it might be five pages, but that's probably going to take me an hour and a half to two hours. I had 28 pages, and it took me eight hours to read. So. It's hard. <laughs> this book is hard. I don't, I'm not a big fan of pathology. And then these are our readings for Friday. So that's basically what we get once a week, which is really cool and super helpful. And then these are all of my notes. So this is what I like to study out of. So in OneNote, um, I have um, the old section, which is called Intro to Medical Sciences, and this was just the past six weeks. So what I have is I have the readings and then I have the lecture for each of the week, weeks, and then Hemong we just started, so I only have two weeks so far, seven and eight, and right now I'm working on week eight readings, so that's what I have done so far. But yeah, that's basically what I do to like, I guess, study, uh, or prepare to study. Um, this is stuff that I'm going to like reread throughout the week. I like to reread it at least once a day, or like, yeah, every day if I can, and just like reread it at night or before I go to class so I'm ready for what's to come. And then once I go to class, we have PowerPoints and stuff, and they discuss it more in depth. And if you didn't understand something, they kind of explain it better in class, because sometimes I'm reading something and I literally don't know what they're saying, and then I go to class and I'm like, oh, that's what they were saying? That's really easy, thank you. So that's really helpful too, I like going to class. and. Either way, our classes are mandatory, so we do have to go, but um, I don't know, some students don't find it helpful. I find it really helpful, and I love our teachers for it. I think they're really good teachers. So that's basically what I do on a daily basis, actually. Like, I am pretty much reading every single day, because people are asking me how I, like, keep up with reading in my class, and I just told them, like, I'm reading every day, and I read ahead of time. So on Saturday and Sundays, I'll read ahead of time for, like, the next week before I even start the week. So that's how I keep up and make sure that I'm on top of that. But So that's basically it um, for how I study, like on a regular basis. Hi guys, so I'm going to continue my study video for you guys and I feel like I'm not gonna be looking too good in any of these videos. Um, I always come home and just like take off my makeup and shower and stuff. So yeah, I don't look the best, but this is the reality of being a mental. So I think I'm coming down with the cold, uh, which sucks because my exam is on Monday. Like I can already <clears throat> hear it in my throat and in my nose and my voice and yeah. Um, I don't know what to do really. I'm kind of freaking out, which is probably making my cold worse because of course stress causes. It was bound to happen, but anyway, it is Thursday today and in Nevada we actually get Friday off for Nevada day, which is super cool. So tomorrow I have Friday off. And that means I have a three-day weekend to study. So I'm super excited about that. It'll help me catch. So I'm done reading for the week. So today is probably going to be the first official day of studying. I did study for last week, kind of, but not enough. Um, what I did was I wrote out all of the different types of anemias that were probably going to be tested on. So this is what I worked on. It took four hours, honestly, to write, to do all this. It was intense. I wrote, like, the disease, um, how it manifests, what it does like what to expect clinical wise and then special information to just memorize it better and then of course I had to make it colorful to make it funner to read. So for um, today, I don't think I'm going to study the old stuff. This is all the old stuff. Today I think I'm going to focus on all of the new stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read through all of my notes and as I'm reading I'm going to use this really cool function that highlights and I'm just going to highlight anything I think is important or something that I really think I need to remember for my exam and then probably when I reread my notes fo focus on that specifically but that is what I'm going to be doing today to study and um, if I draw anything out which I did draw something else out that I want to show you guys so for this week's reading I drew out the steps of clotting, which was really helpful. So this is just like something you can do on an iPad or something you can even do on a whiteboard if you need to. And there, these are just all the different steps. I added all the different enzymes to make sure that I knew where they went. I'm not sure why it's not focusing. There we go. And what step by step. So first step, second, third, and fourth. And yeah, so this really helps out instead of having it all in like note form. It's just in one picture. It makes it easier to study. So. I'm a visual person, this stuff really helps me out, so if, if you are a visual person or if you don't understand a pathway, definitely draw it out step by step and that will help. And of course, make it colorful because it's more fun.
studying right now and we are just writing out the cell blood cell count which one day we'll probably need as doctors but they said I have this memorized for one step in general so we're just memorizing there's differences between males and females too guys look it's my study partner <laughs> and we're at school now so this is what it looks like at our school we have a lot of lime green and this is just one of the classrooms we like to study in. So more from Corey here. You drew out how vitamin B12 deficiency and folate deficiency happens. And there's a lot of enzymes and stuff involved. And you also drew out um, more different types of anemias that we learned about. Just like things to help remember. So this is what we like to do. Um, just like there's more over there too for um, heme synthesis and bilirubin metabolism. And this just helps us see it better than what our notes are saying. It's really good visual. So there's Corey again, <laughs> working on a different pathway. I usually help him just by like answering the questions he has and telling him what to put, but he likes to draw it out because he does it really well in like a, I guess a big picture way. And when I try to draw it out, it gets into little picture and doesn't look as good so he's the designated drawer and this is how the plot or the clotting process works so there's a lot of steps involved <laughs> 